egg spot. For this project, we'll need a small Phillips head screwdriver and a flat head screwdriver. Before we begin, I always remove the battery and AC adapter. Remove the single retaining screw underneath the battery holding down the media control cover to the base assembly. Unscrew the three retaining screws on the access door. Lift the door away from the laptop base. Remove the four screws holding down the hard drive to the base assembly. Carefully slide the hard drive to the right and carefully lift it out of the laptop. Remove the eight screws holding down the touchpad palm rest to the base assembly. Unplug the antenna cables from the PCI wireless cards, loosen them from their routing channels. Flip the laptop over, open the display assembly and flattening out as much as possible. Unsnap the media control cover from the palm rest starting at the back near the screen. Remove the two screws holding down the keyboard. Slowly lift the keyboard away from the base and turn it over. If you pull too hard, you risk breaking the keyboard cable connector on the motherboard. Pivot the keyboard cable latch and the backlight cable latch up and unplug the cables. Disconnect the power button cable. Pull the antenna cables through the base and loosen all the cables from the routing channels. Disconnect the display cable. Remove the 10 screws holding down the touchpad palm rest to the bottom base assembly. Unplug the speaker cable. Unplug the touchpad cable. Carefully unsnap the palm rest away from the base assembly. Remove the single retaining screw holding the optical drive to the base assembly. Remove the optical drive from the motherboard. Disconnect the USB port cable from the motherboard. Remove the single retaining screw holding down the USB port to the base assembly. Replace the USB port, secure it with the single retaining screw.
plug the USB cable port into the motherboard. Set the optical drive into the base assembly. Press the connection onto the motherboard. Replace the single retaining screw. Place the touchpad palm rest onto the base assembly while snapping the edges down. Replace the 10 screws holding down the touchpad palm rest to the base assembly. Plug the touchpad cable in. Plug the speaker cable in. Reroute the antenna cables. Reroute the LCD display cable and plug it into the motherboard. Reroute the power button cable and plug it into the motherboard. Pass antenna wires through the motherboard. Plug the keyboard cable and backlight cable into the motherboard. Place the keyboard into the base, secure it with the two screws. Replace the media control cover and snap it down on the palm rest. Close and flip the laptop over. Reroute the antenna cables and plug them into the wireless PCI cards. Replace the eight screws holding down the touchpad palm rest to the base assembly. Place the hard drive into the laptop, slide it to the left into the connector. Secure it with the four screws. Place the access door onto the laptop base. Screw down the three screws. Screw in the retaining screw underneath the battery. Replace the battery. We hope you found this tutorial useful. All parts discussed in this tutorial can be found at partspeople.com.